I work with a local group called Wellspring. Most of the adults that come to Wellspring are either in a wheelchair or they're using a walker. So as we do our exercises, we usually have to sit on a chair. And when we sit on the chair to do the exercises, we don't want any arms or anything. So if you want to do some chair exercises and go for a walk in the woods at the same time, go ahead, find a chair, set it down. You won't need anything else. You don't even have to put on hiking boots. But we're going to go for a walk in the woods. And I kind of brought some, some woods in here for our walk in the woods. We're going to start our walk. And what I want you to do, you can either lift your knees just a little bit and come up and down. Or you can move your hands. Or you can do both. All of these exercises I would like you to do within your comfort level. If I say to raise your knee up, but that hurts to raise up your knee, don't raise your knee so high. Be your own boss. Take your own pace. If I'm walking at this pace, but it's too fast for you, you just slow it down and go where you're comfortable because you want to enjoy your walk in the woods. Okay, we're going to start our walk. And we're going down into a little trail and it's getting kind of darker as the trees go over the top of it. And we're walking and oops, down there on the right is a big rock so you're going to have to take your feet around the rock and continue on your way. And we are walking and kind of taking a look at the dirt trail and there's some rocks and some ferns and things. Oh. You don't want to make sure that your partner is going to catch up with you. So what you have to do is check on your partner by taking your elbow back and turning. And look at your partner. And you didn't see him on that side, so take your elbow back and turn. Oop, there they are. They were just over on the other side. So now you can keep walking now that you've checked on your partner. And it's a good thing that you're in front and you're really watching because there's a low-hanging branch coming up, so you want to tell your partner, hey, there's a branch on the way, and you can take that branch and you can go underneath the branch, and then you can hold it with the other hand, and you can help your partner come through, drop the branch, and off you go again. Oh, another gall dang big rock there in the road. This time it's on the left, so we've got to move the feet around and walk around the rock. Don't know how those rocks get up here, but they're probably rolling down the hill or something. I hope they don't hit us, you know. It's been raining. Now we have to go uphill. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's really a hard one to get up. What we're going to have to do to go uphill, we're going to have to keep on that trail, and now we're going to slow it down, and we're going to be more deliberate about the walking. You're going to take your arms. You're going to pull them up and down like this to help pull your body up that trail. You're going to have to take good, strong steps as you go up. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more. We're almost there. Almost there. Oh my gosh, that was a hard one. Oh, one side, sweat on the other side. I think we should look around now we're up on the hill. So let's look with your arm out. Let's look over here. Put your hand up and look because there could be some sunshine blinding and you might not see everything. And hand on the other side as you look to the other side and kind of hold it. So you're looking down, looking at the birds and looking down hill. So, now downhill is a little trickier, you know. Downhill, you're not working to stay, to keep going up the hill. You're going to be very careful and you're going to put your feet out in front of you and lift because your feet are going to be out in front because you don't want to fall. And start to walk your feet back in as it's getting a little bit easier to walk. But take your hands and put them forward like this. And we're going down the trail, down the trail, down the trail. 
No sliding. We're not sliding or slipping on any rocks because we're really taking it easy and slow down. Oh, there's a few big ones right in the road. And look at this. We've got a big rock over here and a big rock over here. And we have to walk right through the crevice of these rocks. So what we do is put our hands out for stability. And as we walk, we push out and against the rocks as we're walking, taking a step and moving our hands and pushing out so that we can work our way over to one side. And then we have to work our way over to the other side side and those rocks are still right here and it's just a little skinny trail that we're walking on and now it's starting to open up and we're down the hill and there's the mud. Ah! There's no way to get around the mud. We're going to have to go through. So you're going to take a step and then you're going to pull the other foot up and out of the mud because it's too hard. You've got to take a big step. So take a big knee up and you can just almost imagine as your boot comes out, it goes <coughs> Can you tell that I'm from Oregon? On the Oregon coast, we have like 80 inches of rain. And you guessed it, we've got mud. Oh man, I'm glad we're out of that mud. Oh, so we can start walking again. And we're still walking it. What did I say? It rains. It rains a lot. Now we've got a puddle. Okay, this time this puddle isn't quite as big as that mud pit. But we're going to have to jump it. And we're going to jump with one foot oh, and over. Second puddle, take the other leg and jump over. Yeah, stupid puddles, jeepers. Maybe we should have taken this walk in the summertime. Even on the coast, it does dry out occasionally. Now there's little remains of puddles. So we've got a little puddle over here on the right. So we're going to have to put our feet around and we're going to kind of go around that puddle. And there's one on the left this time. So here we go. And we're walking and saying on the puddles. And the next time we come, it's going to be sun shining and we're not going to have to fuss with that puddle. Okay, here we go. You know, we jumped that puddle. And now I'm kind of getting thirsty. It reminded me that I brought some water along. So, let's take our cup and our thermos and we'll pour some water. Drink it down by looking up. And pour it in the other hand. Drink it down. I'm not sure if I did it right. So, just do four drinks by tipping drinking and when you do that pull yourself up to do the drink and walking along oh man that is one round little tiny stone down there I think I'm going to stop and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to give it a throw oh there's another and I wanted to use my other hand to get it pick it up look at it give it a throw I think I'm going to do that again. With my first hand, I'm going to throw it over that way. Hmm. What shall I throw it at? Nothing. Then, then if I'm throwing it at nothing and just throwing it into the brush, what do you suppose that noise is? I think I'm going to check that noise out. Pulling my arm back, looking around. Take your head now while you're turned like this and pressing down against this knee and looking around, looking around. I'm going to come back. I still hear that noise. Hand on that knee, elbow back, turn and look. Still don't see what it is, but it's, it's getting louder. I think I'm going to run to the car. I'm not happy with that noise. Here I go. Oh man, I can see the car. I'm almost there. Almost there. Oh, I'm coming out of the woods. Oh, the parking lot's getting nice and open so I can go back to walking a little bit. I don't know what's back there, but I'm going to stay next to the car and just kind of walk around the parking lot real slow. I'm going to shake my arms out, but I'm going to keep my eyes over there on that trail. Just in case. 
Oh, man. I, I hear it again. Okay, I'm going to check out my shoes. I'm going to look at the bottom of that shoe and look at the bottom of that shoe. Oh, gosh darn it, there's mud. I have to wipe my foot, wipe it on the outside, then wipe it on the inside, wipe it on the outside, wipe it on the inside, hop in the car, get in, sit down, lock the door, and I think we ought to go. Okay, so look for me on Facebook. All of these will be written in a list so that you'll be able to follow them. And there's going to be others in this series. We're also going to take a swim in the lake, and we might even go for a game of ball.